Hello. In this lecture, we will talk a bit about matrix robustness. The term robustness is in most cases understood in terms of influence of variation of method parameters to results. Our experience suggests, however, that an additional dimension, robustness in terms of variability of sam sample matrix, is beneficial. Different matrices can lead to different matrix effects, either in a narrow sense or broad sense. On the example of blood plasma, depending on the personal variations in the metabolism, diet, possible diseases and so on, the composition, first of all but not limited with the content of proteins, phospholipids and polysaturated fatty acids, the blood plasma can vary significantly even though the norm formally the matrix is the same, blood plasma. The sample preparation procedure that is uh, suitable for blood plasma of low protein or phospholipid content may give different results for blood plasma with high protein or phospholipid content. This is occasionally addressed in validation guidelines under the selectivity. However, Possible effects of this kind of variability are not limited to the loss of selectivity, but also influences recovery, trueness, ionization suppression and enhancement, as well as the limit of detection and limit of quantification. It is useful to investigate the effect of sample matrix variability in case of formally identical matrices more broadly than just the selectivity. This was an overview of matrix robustness.